Hi, I'm Jack, and I'm going to show you a quick demo on Group the Loop. Um, we're going to start with Q on and counting on, and that's going to count us into our first loop. Um, I've labeled all the loops first just to make it easier. So you swipe down, click on the pen to do that, and you can label them. So if I click the first loop, we'll record that. Okay, now I'm going to put a bit of tambourine on. So. That tambourine's a bit dry, so I'm going to click on the effect here and you can choose which effect you want to use before you put it on the loop. So I'm going to have a room, a nice natural room sound. We're going to drag it over to the loop. And that sounds a bit more natural now. Okay, so let's go ahead and record to the verse. I'm going to click the clock to record eight bars. And we're going to tap and it's going to count us in. Okay, let's add a bit of, uh, let's add the same reverb to that acoustic guitar. If you want to change reverb once you've added it or any effect, just click on effect there and then you can change patch okay I'll keep it on room so now let's add some vocal it's gonna be a very short loop sort of vocal pad a little trick you can do to save a bit of processing power because I want that vo vocal to be quite reverby drag the effect over to the input and uh, add it on input and then the effects are going to record in so let's do some more vocal to overdub click again on the the loop and then you'll get these options mute and overdub and then we'll just overdub from there vocal pad going over the top of it. It's a bit loud so if you swipe down on uh, on a loop you get some more options. Uh, so you click on the volume and pan and then we've got this volume and pan matrix so just bring it down and, and level a little bit. Let's add another percussion. This is the master group by the way so this is going to play throughout the song uh, where these are the normal groups and they're going to you can switch between them so in a minute we'll record to the chorus but uh, let's just quickly put down another rhythm track. Eerie breath sound, breathing sound. Let's bring that down a little bit and we can pan it over to the left as well. So let's also pan the tambourine over to the right. Just, that's a little shortcut. If you swipe up on, on a loop, then you go straight to the uh, volume of pan. Okay, let's go back up to eight, eight uh, beats. still got reverb on there that's because we've still got the reverb on the input channel that's fine so let's leave that on there and let's uh, overdub and just tap again to uh, finish your overdub Record something to the chorus, just tap on the loop you want to record to and it'll key you in and after that it'll stop the script and record this one. And 
again, we've got that nice reverb on there. Um, so let's keep that on. Just tone it down slightly for the next guitar. So again, like the loops, you can click on the, on the effect and then we can bring the level down there. basically two vocal tracks which is uh, a bit pointless so we're gonna hold drag that and merge the two so now we've freed up a space at the bottom stuff to happen instantly just turn off cue up here and then you can just press play whenever you like so just a couple of things i didn't mention in the demo if you drag left uh, you will see more groups and you can add a total of 20 also, after you've overdubbed, if you made a mistake or just want to go back to the take before, you can swipe left to undo or swipe right again to redo. <laughs> 